Bees are fascinating creatures that play a crucial role in our ecosystem. They are well known for buzzing around, collecting nectar, and, unfortunately, stinging people. But have you ever wondered why bees die after stinging? It turns out that there is an interesting biological reason behind this phenomenon. When a honeybee stings a person or an animal, its stinger gets stuck in the skin. The stinger is barbed, meaning it has tiny hooks that prevent it from being easily removed. As the bee tries to fly away, it gets ripped apart from its abdomen, causing severe damage to its body. The bee's stinger is connected to a venom sac that contains venomous chemicals. These chemicals, such as melatonin, cause pain and inflammation when injected into the victim's skin. However, this venom sac is also attached to the bee's digestive system. So, when the bee's stinger is torn out, its entire digestive system, including the venom sac, is also torn apart, leading to its fatality. This self-destructive mechanism is actually a defense mechanism for the bee. When a honeybee stings, it does so to protect its colony or itself from a perceived threat. By sacrificing its life, the bee is protecting its fellow bees and ensuring the survival of the colony. Furthermore, the act of stinging is not an instinctual response for honeybees. It is usually a last resort when the bee feels its life or the life of its colony is in danger. Bees are generally peaceful creatures and will only sting if they feel threatened or provoked. This is an important consideration when we encounter bees in our daily lives. It is essential to remain calm and avoid any sudden movements to prevent agitating them. Interestingly, not all bees die after stinging. Honeybees, which belong to the APIs genus, are the only species of bees that have barbed stingers. Other species of bees, such as bumblebees and solitary bees, have smooth stingers and can sting multiple times without any harm to themselves. This is because their stingers can easily be withdrawn from the skin. Honeybees, on the other hand, have evolved to have barbed stingers as a means of protecting their colony. After a honeybee stings, the stinger continues to release venom for a short period of time. This is why it is crucial to remove the stinger as quickly as possible to minimize the amount of venom that enters the body. It is recommended to scrape the stinger out with a flat object rather than pulling it out with tweezers, as squeezing the stinger can inject more venom into the body. The consequences of honeybees dying after stinging extend beyond the individual bee. Honeybees are social creatures that live in large colonies, with the survival and productivity of the colony dependent on the work of all its members. Losing a bee, especially during the summer months when the colony is at its peak, can be detrimental. However, honeybees are also highly efficient at replacing lost workers, and the overall impact on the colony may not be as significant as one might expect. The phenomenon of bees dying after stinging showcases the incredible sacrifice and dedication these tiny insects have towards their colony. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of all living creatures and the importance of protecting and respecting the natural world around us. So the next time you encounter a bee, remember the crucial role it plays and approach it with care and appreciation.